I've come to say goodbye. Good evening, Ponya. I'm returning to the mountain for the winter. I'll be back next spring. How pretty. What is this? It's for you. It's really soft. It's a branch from a cotton bush. There are fields full of them over there near the village. The tree makes a yellow flower first, which turns red and forms a soft little ball. <sighs> Called cotton. I love it. It looks like big soft snowflakes. You've never seen snow, Mowgli, have you? It's white and falls from the sky. The flakes land on the ground, the trees, and cover everything. It's magic. I'd love to see this snow. It must be beautiful. Yes, and your paws freeze when you walk in it. I learned about snow from men. <laughs> He's right, but you can also slide on it too and have a blast. I'd like to see this snow and its magic flakes. Hmm. Can I go with you, Ponya? Your mountains aren't that far from here, right? Tut, tut. It's a long and dangerous journey for a man cub. Just a quick look. I'll come right back. Baloo is right. The Himalayas are quite far from the jungle. Later, when you're older, I could take you there. I must leave you now. I have to start out just before dawn. I have a long way to go. Enjoy your trip. See you soon, Ponya. Huh. Good evening. Enjoy your meal, Master. Would you kindly have some scraps for a hungry friend? Who says you're my friend, Fleabag? And no, I don't have anything for you. Hunt your own food. Kalu tells me you can't even catch a chameleon. This old crow is full of nonsense, Master. Tomorrow I will bring you a prize trophy. You have my word. Everyone knows what your word is worth, Jackal. If you ever want to eat Parasite, earn your food. You never gave me the man cub, despite all your promises. Go, get out! Out of my sight! I won't feed you to do nothing! What are you doing here? I can't seem to sleep. Something wrong? I want to see the snow. The what? The snow. Ponya came over to say goodbye, and I want to go on a journey with her and slide down the mountains. And Baloo <laughs> says I'm too young to make such a trip. Don't be silly. You're old enough, and the mountains aren't that far, and you'd go with Ponya. It's not too late to catch up with her, <gasps> but you must hurry. Yes, but Baloo will worry. I'd better warn him. I already know he won't let me go. Yes, I understand. If you want, I can tell him myself. I don't know if that's a good idea. No need to wake him and worry him for nothing. And I owe you as much for helping me from time to time. I don't know if I should trust you. <laughs> You've already played tricks on me. Oh, but this is different. You want to discover the snow with Ponya. I won't follow you, I promise. I'll just warn Baloo and tell him not to worry. It would be a shame to miss an opportunity like this. I saw snow once when I was little, and it's extraordinary. Baloo will understand, I'm sure. He saw snow when he was younger, like you. You're right. If he did it, then I can do it too. Sure, don't you worry. Go, it will be daylight soon. Hurry up. <laughs> Hey, did you just step on me? You're lucky I'm uh, still half asleep, Furball. Oh, sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. <sighs> Shere Khan! Shere Khan! The little man is alone, right now, and I can even show you where. In fact, it's all thanks to me. Let's go. You'll tell me on the way. And I hope this isn't a wild goose chase. He wants to see the snow, the mountains with Ponya. And since I'm very intelligent, I told him, listen, man cub, I'll take care of Baloo. Ha <laughs> ha! Pretty smart, huh? <gasps> oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you, Carl. Ah. 
it's you. What's the matter with everyone tonight? I've already been stepped on by the Red Panda. Ponya? How long ago? Which way did she go? That way. But you really ought to rest a little. She can't be far and you'll catch up easily. A little snooze would do you good and you won't disturb anyone. Don't force me to fall asleep, okay? I don't have time. Mowgli? Mowgli! Mowgli! And he really believed me when I told him I had seen the snow. Ha <laughs> ha! And there's no way I'm telling that hairy fool. I'm not stupid. He fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Carrot Top. You talk too much and say too little. But no, that's not true. Shut up, I said! Or else I'll silence you for good. Still, if it weren't for me... Go away, miserable pest. Master and I have work to do. You don't say. Busy, are we? Well, the man-cub and the bamboo-eater wander unprotected. Uh, but if you're not interested... Uh... Don't need you, I said. It's thanks to me. Shut up, you fool. Kalu will be more useful than you. Speak, my friend. That's not fair. <laughs> what a stupid jackal. He couldn't find his mother in his own den. Mowgli! I was right under his nose. I thought he'd never finish gabbing with the man-cub. Hey, did you see him? Oh, so Tabaki has cooked up a new plan to capture Mowgli? Oh no, they weren't just talking about a trip in this strange thing called Snow. Snow? He must have followed Ponya. Quick, before he's in danger. That two-faced jackal must have told Shere Khan as usual. Thanks, guys. They're all nuts this morning. Help, please. Please help me. I'll let you live, Leaf Eater, if you tell me where the man cub is. At home with Baloo? Listen, small fry. If you lie to me again, I'll swallow you alive. I see Mr. Crow is a smooth talker. You may know how to fly, but you still haven't found the man cub. <laughs> I'll go look for him, Shere Khan. He can't be far. <laughs> you don't say. I don't want to hear another word. This is all your fault. You're really no use at all. Oh. Ouch! You put me to sleep! Someone, please! I told you I was in a hurry! Hey! Mowgli, wait for me! before I come with you. We'll all go there together. I promise. <clears throat> I mean, all of us who want to see the snow. <laughs> see you soon, my friends. I can't travel that far alone for the moment, and I'd really like going on a journey with you, Baloo. Ah, I like those soft flakes. You see, Mowgli, you don't need to go far to enjoy nature's magic. Oh, 
stop all this chasing about, Mowgli. You'll never catch Darcy. Give up? Not me. I'll catch you. Just you wait and see. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Mowgli, you need to use some strategy. <laughs> What are you doing here, Tabaki? And why are you laughing? I was just passing. And I had a good laugh watching you failing to catch that tiny bird. She's too quick. For you, thinking about it, you must be the slowest creature in the whole jungle. Me? The slowest? Yes, you. Even that bird is better than you. The proof? She got away. Hmm. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Mowgli. He's only trying to provoke you. Sorry to have hurt your feelings, but I bet if we both went head to head, I would win easily. Let's have a competition. A competition? Mm. A running event and a jumping event? Mowgli, be careful. It could be a trap. Perfect. What do you want if you win? A big, juicy bone, I think. Yes. Come on, then. I'll show you who's the best. Baloo, can you start the race? I refuse to have anything to do with it. <gasps> Darcy, if you feel like it. Oh, oh, yes, yes! The first one to the bend in the river wins the race. Ready? Ready. Ready, set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! You didn't think you were going to win the race without a fight, did you? You know what, Mowgli? I was just jogging. Now the race really starts. Tabaki is the winner! <laughs> You can give up now if you want, and just admit that I'm the best. Oh, you'd like that. But it's out of the question. There's one more event, isn't there? One more, yes. The jump. You see that log? You must jump over it without touching it. I'll go first if you like. That way you'll have time to get your breath back. Ready? Tweet! <laughs> jump past? But you touched the stump. Your turn. You'll see it's a piece of cake. Even you should be able to manage it. And if I pass without touching, what are we going to do to decide the winner? We'll decide a third event together. All right. Ready, Mowgli? Tweet! <laughs> Why didn't you walk? me about this hole. <laughs> because you would have avoided it. <laughs> what? You mean to say this was all planned? Well done, man cub. <laughs> You're starting to understand. What is it you want? To put you on a plate for Shere Khan. And to get the biggest reward possible, of course. Huh? I told him to come here after his nap <sighs> at sundown. <laughs> Try and be patient. So foolish. Baloo was right. I should have been more suspicious. Ah! Oh, Mowgli, what are you doing in here? I need your help, Darcy. Tabaki set a trap for me, and you need to go and tell Baloo so that he can come and get me. All right, don't move. I'll go and get him. Mowgli should have been back by now. They haven't gone that far away. Quickly! <laughs> Quickly, Blue! We need you! Nothing bad, I hope. Oh, yes, it's terrible. Tabaki cheated and the competition is over. And? Well, they didn't do the third event. Ooh. And... Uh, I think I've forgotten the rest. Oh, uh, 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 Wait for me, Baloo. I'm sure it'll all come back to me soon. I've got to get out of here. Hey, 
What have I got to lose? Mowgli! <gasps> Stop! Have you already forgotten that I run faster than you? skillful and that I'm the slowest in the jungle? No. I didn't quite hear that. No. You might be fast, but you're not a good swimmer. I suppose not. So, what about this third event? Some other day? Whenever you want and you can tell everyone that the man cub is fast and skillful. Mowgli, quickly! Baloo needs you. He's fallen into a pit. A pit? Where? Uh, um, that's a good question. The pit near the log. The log? That's it, yes. Is someone there? I can hear someone. Hello? I, I, I'm down here. <laughs> what are you doing down there, Baloo? Are you looking for honey? It's not funny, Mowgli. Oh, get me out of here, please. Uh, what are you doing, Mowgli? Using strategy. Darzee, would you like a game of tag? <laughs> I'll win again, but if you really want to. <laughs> That's it! I've won! <laughs> well done, Mowgli. You're a real champion. The jungle champion. Oh, let me out! Oh, oh it's not fair! Oh! Wretched Jackal will hear from me, disappearing like this. <laughs> mm, nearly there. The man cub has gone that way, and I'm catching up with him. <laughs> the time has come to embrace Mowgli as a full member of our pack. 
Doesn't this mean that Mowgli might someday become pack leader? Mm-hmm. You're just thinking of reasons to stop Mowgli belonging to our family, Peona. So you don't think it would be odd to have the man-cub as leader of the wolf pack, Bala? Enough squabbling. Tonight, at the Council Rock, we will make Mowgli a full member of our pack. Yes. Yes. If that is your decision, Arkela, let me bring Mowgli to the meeting at Council Rock. <gasps> if Mowgli is to be my wolf brother, then I must learn to be his friend. Very well. Bring Mowgli to the Council Rock tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Mowgli was your least favourite person, yet here you are, watching his every move. I was wondering how I could get rid of him. Permanently, or just temporarily? Temporarily. If Mowgli doesn't attend the council meeting tonight, he loses his chance of becoming a full member of the Wolf Pack forever. You could send him off to the Elephant March. Yes, but I'd have to think of a good excuse to make him go there. And whilst you're doing that, I shall tell Shere Khan where to find the man-cub tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how nice to see you, Peona. Could we have a word in private, Mowgli? Um, of course. Oh. Harty is ill, so Arkela is entrusting you with a special mission. He wants you to look after Apu and Hita. He wants me to go to the Elephant March, now. But we always have a council meeting on the night of the full moon. Arkela and Gajini have gone into the forest to find a remedy for Hardy's sickness. Therefore, the council meeting is cancelled. Shere Khan, I found out where the man-cub will be tonight. Everybody in the jungle knows that he'll be at the Council Rock with his wolf friends. <laughs> There's been a change of plan. If I were to tell you the man-cub's whereabouts, would you throw a juicy bone my way? Mm -hmm. Mowgli's going to the Elephant March. Hmm. Well, you should be proud that Arkela trusts you with such an important mission, Mowgli. It shows how much he respects your learning, which, of course, I... Blue, I must get going. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Off you go. Uh, it will soon be dark. I'll go with Mowgli. Yes! <laughs> He's here! Oh, Priona. We thought you were Mowgli. Sorry to disappoint you. Mowgli is not coming. What? 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 How do you know this, Bayona? He said he was too busy to attend the meeting. Mowgli always comes to our council meetings. Why would he miss this one? You forget, he's not a wolf like us. He has other things on his mind. Like what? I've seen him go to the man village. <gasps> Who in our wolf pack would ever trust a man? Halt! Who goes there? Peter! Apu! <laughs> hey, you two! We haven't come to play. We've come to see how hearty is and to take care of you two. Follow me! This way! Tabaki didn't mention the man cub's bodyguards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
Lovely to see you two, <laughs> even if it is in the middle of the night. Our Kayla sent me here to look after Apu and Hita whilst you're sick, Hearty. Sorry? Huh? Our Kayla sent Magli to babysit whilst he and Gajini search the forest for plants and berries that will make you feel better. <laughs> I know I have a tendency to forget things, but I can assure you I am perfectly well, and Gajini is asleep over there. Council meeting tonight. Why do you express surprise, Mowgli? It's the night of the full moon. I've been tricked by Peona. I must try to get there before it's too late. Wait, Mowgli. Peter, Abu, don't go further than the edge of Elephant March. <laughs> Pays off. Can't ah! handle this. I don't think so. Such touching loyalty. Pity to part you. Bodyguards, man cub. Our council meeting is now over. Mowgli! Mowgli! You failed to attend our meeting, Mowgli. But I. I'm sure you had a good reason. Or have you more important things on your mind? What do you mean, Daruka? What is your explanation for failing to attend our meeting? Peona sent me to the elephant! I didn't think it would take you so long, Mowgli. You sent him off, Peona, to get him out of the way! Is this true, Peona? <sighs> then I suggest you leave the meeting. As I have more important things to deal with, your punishment will be decided at the next council meeting. I'll pay you back, man cub. On hearing the facts, we will forgive you for not attending tonight, Mowgli. Yes. And, as a mark of our deep affection for you, it has been decided by the council to make you a full member of our pack. I thank you, Arcala. It's good that I'm now truly one of you, because in my heart, I've always felt it to be so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wolf brother! Ah! <laughs> oh. Mowgli, is Hearty feeling better now? Payona tried to trick me. There was nothing wrong with Hearty, but I made it back to the Council Rock just in time to be made a full member of the Wolf Pack. <laughs> Here's a riddle for you, Baloo. Who in the jungle can run like a wolf and think like a man? Um. <laughs> me. Mowgli the Wolf Boy. Ha, 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 ha.